Well, hello, YouTubians. Welcome, welcome to another episode from First on Wheels. Uh, today's, I think, a pretty special ride. It's been 10 years and about five weeks now since we lost one of our greatest ever motorsport drivers. By now, you all know who I'm talking about. Yes, it's the one and the only, the great Peter Brock. Also known as the King of the Mountain, Peter Perfect, for the lack of mistakes he would make. Uh, and also known just as pure out Brocky. <coughs> so today, I'm taking you on a ride with some good friends of mine, who you may see in my mirror there. That's Stephen Jacinta. Jacinta is a workmate of mine and also one of my subscribers. Thanks, Jacinta. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed, then please feel free to click that subscribe button. Uh, we're currently on 2J Road, heading up towards Gidjiganup. <coughs> uh, it's about 40 minutes out of the Perth CBD. Got a great day for it. Very much looking forward to it. And uh, I've got a little bit of info on the great man himself, Brocky. I'll uh, tell you more about that as we go. So anyway, sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. All right, so Peter Brock was born in 1945, February, and he died in September of 2006. He was 61 years old. Uh, he's most famous for his record at Bathurst, which he won nine times. He also won Sandown nine times. He was the uh, three-time Australian Touring Car Championship champion. And he was inducted into the V8 Supercars Hall of Fame in 2001. Now on September 8, 2006, Peter Brock was competing in the Targa West Rally, uh, which was held here in WA every year and he was on the second stage of the rally uh, heading towards Gidjiganup. He was about three k's from the finish of stage two when he came out of a left-hand bend, which is rather sharp. Uh, it was on an incline or decline and the road was off camber, uh, which all ended up causing him to lose control. He then went into a skid, which lasted for about 50 metres, and then he's gone side on into a tree. He was driving a uh, 2001 Daytona sports car, which was left-hand drive, and so, of course, hitting the tree on the left-hand side of the vehicle generally a T-bone uh, action has caused him to die instantly. There are reports that the medic who was first to arrive on scene initially took his pulse or tried to take his pulse, felt two heartbeats and then nothing. So they do firmly believe that it was there and then that he passed away. There are other reports. Uh, but that tends to be the one that most people believe. Sorry if I'm shouting at you, but it's a bit windy up here in the hills. Uh, so we're going to that spot today where he met his fate. Uh, his navigator on the day, uh, he got serious injuries and was taken to hospital, but uh, he was in a stable condition when he went to hospital and he later survived which is a good thing. Uh, so as I said, we are heading up to that point now. I've got my GPS on so I don't get lost, hopefully. 
I've already taken one wrong turn today, so there's every chance I'll take another one. But uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, I'll uh, come back to you when we're closer to the memorial and uh, catch us all then. All right. Alrighty, so we're not too far away from it now. But, uh, this is all part of the well, Younger National Park, I believe. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put it here. Alrighty, so we're now on Clinton Road in Gidjiganup. This is the actual road that the rally was taking place on. We're actually coming in from the reverse way that Peter Brock was travelling. And uh, the finish line would have been just back there where we just went through. So, the, uh, as you can, from what I said before, we've got about three k's to go. And then will be there but uh, wonderful twisty road through here and just need to pay attention so I'm going to stop talking maintain my riding uh, attention sit back and relax enjoy the ride So this is the memorial that I've been talking about. You can see people leave mementos and gifts and everything regarding it. I like on the back of the monument, it's got the uh, GTR XU1 emblazoned on it. it. Looks very sharp. So if we come out here, you can see The road that uh, caused the death he was coming towards us down that hill went around the left bend and uh, lost control and then slid into a tree about 30 meters down in front of us but uh, you can see the decline that he was on and he obviously did a full circle for the left side of the car to be impacted the way that it was <coughs> But uh, plenty of people stop by here all the time. And uh, yeah, great spot to be. So a lot of bikers come through. And yeah. Say hi, Jacinta. Say hi, Steve. Howdy. These are my mates. And, sensational day for a ride all right so that's the Peter Brock monument so now we're just riding back we're going uh, along Mundaring Weir Road back through Kalamunda and I think all the way down to Armadale which is where I'll leave Stephen Jacinta to head back home myself and uh, Thank them very much for a wonderful day's ride. It's been absolutely beautiful. There's bugger all breeze, which is just sensational. And uh, it's been probably the most perfect day for riding that I can remember in a long time. So thanks to Steve and Justin for coming out. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I know that I have. 
Rest in pace, Brocky. We still miss you. We always will, and you will never, ever be forgotten, buddy. Uh, until next time, guys, stay safe, stay upright, stay on three wheels. You've been watching First on Wheels, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.